I'm going to teach you how to write to a text file from a C-sharp script using an input field. And that starts right now. What's up, everybody? I'm Prefix, and welcome to another Unity tutorial. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about Unity, coding, UI, and all kind of other cool stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking that little bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so let's open up Unity. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and create an input field. So all we got to do is right click. UI, and we're gonna do input field. Let's scale it up. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create a script, and we'll name it to text file. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do inside the script is we know that we're gonna use using Unity engine.ui because we're gonna use the input field. So let's go ahead and use that. The next thing we're gonna do is since we're sending stuff to a text file, we're gonna use an output for that, which is called system.io. So we're gonna use that. And let's go ahead and clear all this out. The very next thing we're gonna do is create one public variable just to get a reference to that input field. And we'll call it input field chat. All right, the very next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and create the start function. And inside the start function, we're gonna go ahead and create a directory. Okay, so what we have here is we're gonna create a directory, right? So we use directory.create directory. Obviously we're creating one. And we're gonna use application.streamingassetpath Okay, now streaming asset path is actually going to create a folder called streaming assets. And I'll explain to you at the end of the video what that does for us and create a folder inside of that streaming asset folder. The folder's name is going to be chat logs and it's going to be placed inside of the folder streaming assets, which is also going to be in our directory of assets, right? So if we were to stop this, let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back into Unity. Okay, and now let's put this script on top of the canvas just because we can. So we're gonna put the script on the canvas. And right here we see that we have an input field chat public variable, right? So we're gonna put that input field right inside that chat. Now this does nothing yet. We haven't actually done anything with it. But in the start method, we did create those two folders. One was streaming assets and one was the chat log itself. So let's go ahead and play and let's go ahead and stop this. So you can see that this created the streaming assets folder and inside the streaming assets folder, it created the chat logs, right? So that one line of code created us two folders. And again, I'll explain what the streaming assets is at the end of the video. But for now, just know that it created two directories for us. This is the folder that we're actually gonna put the file in, okay? Okay, so let's go back into Visual Studio. Okay, so the very next thing we wanna do is create a public function, okay? So inside this public function, this is where we're gonna actually create the file. Right. And once we create the file, we need to put it somewhere and we're going to put it inside that chat logs folder. The first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and create a local variable. So in this local variable, we named it text document name, and this is going to equal application .streaming asset path, which is that streaming assets folder. Grab a reference to that folder that we placed inside of streaming assets. And then we're going to name the file chat. And of course, at the end of any text file, we have to give it a .txt so it knows what type of file it's supposed to be. Okay, so the very next thing we're going to do after that is create the file, actually make it. So we're going to tell Unity, hey, we're going to create this file. This is where we want to place it. And this is what I want you to name it. So the very next thing we're going to do is actually create this. The very first thing we need to do is make sure that the file does not already exist. We don't want to throw any errors. So let's just check. If the file already exists, skip this whole if statement. If it doesn't exist, we need to go ahead and create that file. It's gonna be called title of my chat log. And at the end of this, we're gonna go ahead and give it two spaces. So just to show you that this works, we're gonna go ahead and call this function inside of the start method after we create the actual folder. So let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back into Unity. And let's go ahead and delete streaming assets. And we're just gonna hit play. Okay, now we're just gonna stop. And you will see here that it, underneath the streaming assets folder, it did create that chat log, but inside that chat log now we have a text file called chat. And inside that chat, it does have the title. Okay, so you already know how to create the actual directory as well as the file. Now we wanna place stuff in that file with the input field. So let's go back into Visual Studio. Okay, so we gotta go back and we gotta remove this text file, right? Because we're actually gonna call that function at runtime with the input field event system. So one of the first things I wanna do is just make sure that we have something inside that chat field in order to actually post something to the file. So a simple way to do that is write a simple if statement. Inside this if statement, we're just gonna say, hey, 
input field chat. And this is the input field that we referenced earlier. Inside that text field, if that text equals nothing, I want you to exit out of this function. I don't even want you to go any further. Don't do anything. We don't want to create any text files or anything. But if there was something inside that text file, we're going to go ahead and fire the rest of this function. And then we're going to add to the text file. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is append all text. And what this means by append all text is we're gonna add to whatever's already inside that file. We want you to add whatever's inside that input field. Now, this next step, is it necessary? This is something that I would like to do just to ensure that we know that that message was sent. When you type in this field and you hit enter, it doesn't go away. We're just gonna clear the text in the input field, that's it. Now we have one more thing to set up because remember we're using the input field and we're going to use the event system of the input field. So we got to go to the input field. We get to the on end edit. So whenever we're done changing whatever's in the input field, i.e. you hit escape, you hit enter, you click out of the box, anything that ends the editing of that text box is going to fire this event. So we're going to take the canvas object and drag it in here because that has the actual script with the public function on it. And that public function, create text file. So let's go ahead and hit play. And let's type in prefix. And let, okay, let's hit it again. Let's loves tutorials. And that's it. Let's go ahead and stop that. And let's see what it did for us. All right, so it created the streaming assets. It created the chat log. It created the file. And inside that file, it created our title. And then it created prefix loves. Well, it should say loves, but that's okay. Love, prefix love tutorials. Let's go back into Unity. We're going to delete streaming assets. All right, so there's nothing there. It's all blown out, right? We're going to go ahead and build and run this. This is the text tutorial directory, and this is for the build. Okay, so if I were to click, it's going to spark it up. Made with Unity. Yes, indeed. Okay, and then we're going to type in here. We're going to say, thank you for watching. And we're simply going to exit out that application. And now that we're inside text tutorial data, you can go into text tutorial data and you'll see that folder that we created called streaming assets. And inside there, you'll see the chat log and inside there, you'll see the chat and inside there, you'll see, thank you for watching. So using streaming asset path allowed us to create a streaming assets folder, which keeps your text file persistent at runtime. Once again, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.